You are looking live at the inside of the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium, which will play host to the Kitchener Rangers against the Hamilton Bulldogs right here on Forbes Kitchener Rangers Hockey on Rogers TV. My name is Jack Moore, and I'll be joined by Ryan Kovarik and Brian Teal in just a moment. The Hamilton Bulldogs roll into town, losing their last four games. The most recent one yesterday morning against the Oshawa Generals in a shootout by a final score of four to three. It's nothing new to the Hamilton Bulldogs this year to lose four or more games. This is the fourth time it has happened to the defending OHL champion Bulldogs, but they are resilient and things won't get much easier after tonight's game. They head home to take on the OHL leading Ottawa 67s on home ice. That'll be tomorrow, but they have to take care of business here tonight against the Red Hot Kitchener Rangers who are 7-3 and three in their last 10 games. Two of those losses coming to the OHL West leading London Knights. One of those a 7-2 loss to the OHL bottom feeding Flint Firebirds. Although the Kitchener Rangers came away with an 8-4 victory in their last contest, that was on Wednesday night in Erie. Jay McKee was not happy with the way the Rangers started that contest, only getting five shots on goal, saying to Mark Perry of 570 News that the team was lucky to get away with a 2-1 lead after the opening 20 minutes of play. Riley Damiani, Ricard Hug, and Greg Morales have combined for 57 points in the team's last 10 games which I mentioned before, they are 7-3 and three in that span. For more on tonight's game, we'll send it up to the booth with the guys who will have the call, Ryan Kovarik and Brian Teal. An intriguing matchup to watch in tonight's game is that line of Primo, Coe, and Walker, and they typically line up against Patizian, and Patizian's been throwing his weight around. Primo and Co. played for the Toronto Nationals minor midget AAA team that lost the OHL Cup Final to Mike Patizian's Mississauga Reps team. Patizian was the MVP of the OHL Cup that season. Welcome back to Forbes Kitchener Rangers Hockey on Rogers TV. The Hamilton Bulldogs lead the Rangers 4-1. The Kitchener Rangers don't play tomorrow, but there's no shortage of hockey as Hockey Day in Canada from Swift Current Saskatchewan starts at 1 p.m. You can catch all the action on Sportsnet. That's a quality play by Greg Morellis, who just puts it on net, makes prop, make a save with his toe, kicks it right into the slot. Alexei Lipinov standing right there, his seventh of the season in the back of the battalion net. The Rangers score on the power play on their third attempt of the first period, and it's one nothing Kitchener. See a guy like Luke Burkhardt back in the lineup, that's nothing but a positive thing for these struggling North Bay Battalion. Well, not only is it going to be a positive thing on the ice, as last season he didn't miss a game, played all 68, scored 28 goals, 43 assists for 71 points, but it's also a morale boost for the North Bay Battalion. This is a guy who left Absolutely. hockey in the offseason. Nobody thought he was going to be able to play the sport again because of a spinal injury, but now he's back. He's an overage player in the dressing room. He brings so much more emotionally to the team as well as what he brings on the ice.